this will be super brief because I know if you close your eyes for too long, bad things could happen. So close your eyes for five seconds. Close them. What number am I holding? <laughs> no, your eyes are supposed to be closed. <laughs> That's how well this works. Five seconds. Close your eyes again. One, two, three, four, five. Keep them closed. What number am I holding up right now? Eight. Now open your eyes. It is three. You know the number three. You understand the concept of three. It is greater than two and less than four. You know exactly what three is. You're familiar with three. You know how to count to three. You know the relationship of three in the context of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You know what three is. You recognized it immediately when you saw it, but you couldn't tell what it was when your eyes were closed, right? We took all sorts of wild guesses, even eight. We're not going to hold up two hands. Um, but we take all sorts of wild guesses when our eyes aren't open. We can't see the obvious things before us. And it's not just our physical eyes, it's our spiritual eyes. If our eyes aren't open, the right answer can be in front of us forever and ever and ever. But if our are not able to receive it. There's nothing that we can do with that information, even though we know how to add and subtract and multiply and divide with that same information. We can do a lot with it, but if we don't see it, we can't use it. This morning, our prayer should be that the eyes of our heart be opened so that we can see what God has planned for us, so that we can experience all that he has prepared for us, that we can use that in all the ways we know how to use it to do a great thing for the kingdom of God and for the people of God in this world. So this morning, my prayer for all of us is that our eyes be opened in such a way that we see as never before what has always been there, but a new way and a new opportunity. Please stand up as we pray. Eternal and gracious God, our Father, thank you for just being God. Thank you for being a God of grace and mercy, and thank you, Lord, for being a God who doesn't need our opinions, who doesn't bend at our every whim. Thank you for being a God of justice. Thank you for being a God of love. Thank you for being a God who is truth. Lord, we ask that you fall fresh upon this place, that you open the eyes of our heart, God, that your word reveal things to us, that as we sing and as we pray and as we fellowship, God, that we will see what we may have seen before, but see it in a new way, to see it with your eyes. Lord, help us to recognize the beauty of your word and the beauty of your world, and thank you for the privilege of worship. Thank you for the opportunity for all of us to be here, God. There are many who wish they could get out of their beds right now. There are many who wish they had a community of faith, and we have it, Lord. So help us to embrace it, to celebrate it, and to do all things in a way that brings glory to your name. It's in the matchless name of Christ we pray. Amen.